This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Well, it's a new year, let's take a look back in December for the saxophone serenades of the month. When I keep a game on my gaming library, I induct it properly with a saxophone serenade as I'm a saxophone player. And typically when I get keep a game, I get rid of one, so I don't, I don't keep everything I like. But here are the ones I kept last month in chronological order. Circular Reasoning is an abstract game that won a Mensa Select award winning. It's very simple, it's very thinky, it's very abstract, but it's a very interesting one, which is why I kept it. I don't have too many abstracts. That's a great one. Next one is When I Dream. This is an excellent social deduction game. It meets like werewolf in code names where you're wearing this mask. Uh, one player wears a sleep mask and, and the other players are giving them one word clues. Some of them are trying to get them to get it right. Some of them are trying to get them wrong. And some of them are jumping back and forth between being on the team and not. And they're trying to get as many as they can. It's a fun game. The next one is Escape Room the Game. This is one that really does feel like a 60 minute uh, escape room that comes with four different, completely different puzzles that you're trying to figure out together. Uh, and it has this cool little mechanism that gives you hints every five minutes. You put these keys in there. If you want the escape room feeling, but do it at home, this is one of the best of them. Next one is Rent a Hero. I kept this because it was a reprint of an earlier game called Seventh Hero, which is a really fun, a uh, card game that has some sort of bluffing element to it, and uh, but it was, it was it replaced that. It's a smaller box, cuter artwork, which is why I kept this one. The next one is Insider. This is a social deduction game. It's like 20 questions meets werewolf, where one player is the question master. They know the answer. One other player will know the answer, but they won't know each other. And that player, everyone's trying to get the word correct by asking as many questions as they can and if they don't get it correct, everyone loses. But if they get it right, they're trying to figure out who is the one that really knew. So there's some social deduction aspect to their unbelievably fantastic game. Next one is 13 Clues. This is a deduction game where everyone has their own solution in front of them that they can't see. They can see everybody else's solution. And during the games, they're asking people questions about how many how many people can you see that are pink? Uh, so how many people can you see? How many weapons of this type can you see? How many colors can you see of this? How many outdoor locations can you see? And you're gathering information on everyone's turn. It's a quick clue-like game that's amazing in only 30 minutes. The next one is Pups, which is a family-type trick-taking style game about dogs. Has some interesting mechanisms with the bidding, rebidding. Uh, has some cool things to go on with Trump or Alpha Dog, and some cool things with these wild cards called Mutts that are also their own suits. Takes trick-taking to an awesome place that can be played both light with families or very cutthroat with gamers. And the last one is Adrenaline. This is uh, sort of a first-person shooter game, that, uh, really a Euro game that you can tr trick your Ameritrash gamer friends into playing. Uh, and it's just an amazing, quick, streamlined game uh, about going around and shooting people, getting weapons and fun. So which are the best of these? Yeesh, this is tough. My favorite, my favorite is 13 Clues, but it's hard for me to find other people that like to play deduction games, so it probably won't come out that often. Pups is probably the best family game that will come out as the most of this, uh, but the best pure game here is probably Adrenaline uh, itself. It made my top 10 of the year, but Pups and Clues, oh, and Insider, gosh, there's so many good ones here. But that was the Saxophone Serenades for December 2016. This video was sponsored by Miniature Market's Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for backing me on Kickstarter and making this season become a reality. I'd like to especially thank those here that have backed me at the credit level. Now, these video reviews are also available by audio on our podcast. It's the intros and the final thoughts on GameBoyGeek.com. Click podcast.